My name is Shane Wallen. This is my studio, Garnet Tattoo. Hi, I'm Ingrid Corey, and I'm here with Shane Wallen, and we're here at Garnet Tattoo to talk about breast cancer and tattooing. So Shane, I want a little questions. How did you get involved in tattoo artwork and 3D nipple repair? And just tell us your story. Well, I guess a, a few years ago, I was approached by a woman named Sherry, who was just sent to me as a referral from another client, and she had gone through a double mastectomy. And she had this really great idea to do just a real intricate, fancy lace bra tattoo, and and uh, asked me if I'd be able to, if I, or if I'd be interested in doing that. And I was super into the idea, and so we uh, had our consultation. I did some sketches for, her and we kind of agreed on an idea, and then we just proceeded from there. And I just felt that there, there was this niche that needed to be filled, and, and just a need for these women to have a place that was kind of like safe for them to go, and something that was their own, their own shop that felt more like a salon than, than a tattoo shop. But we decided that we were just gonna jump in with both feet and open Garnet Tattoo and started up mastectomy.inc and, and we just made that happen, provided a place for women to, that they could contact us, they could feel safe about discussing their ideas and, and know there wouldn't be any embarrassment and, or, and they didn't need to have any reservations. It's really excited to be a part of Dying Alone. I think it's a great story. It's really gonna reach out to a lot of people and really make a connection. Hi, I'm Ingrid Corey, and I'm sitting here with Coco Bain, and we are at Garnet Tattoo, and she's going to tell us how she came to be here. I'm alive. I'm lucky to be alive. I was the first one in my family to be diagnosed with breast cancer. Or, and so I just like, you know, uh, what can I do to make this better? And luckily I found uh, through uh, Facebook, I saw Shane, and his tattooing for mastectomy, and I'm like, I'd love to do that one day. My husband said, you should check him out. So, you know, I went ahead and I, I sent the email, and um, then they were, uh, said, well, let's come down. I came down, I had my, you know, my, my initial, you know, this is what we're gonna do, this is what we can do. I was going to have it next year, but, uh, because uh, we couldn't afford it this year, mm -hmm. it, which it's it's a lot of money. It's a lot of work for someone like an artist like Shane to go through. Uh, then uh, a month or two later, I get a phone call and they said, uh, "Coco, you've been nominated for uh, to have it fully funded through Pink." I'm just like, "Who is this?" It's, it's, he says, "It's Shane." I'm like, "Yeah, stop it. You know, come on. It's 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 not. You guys are pulling my leg." Uh, but they weren't. They fully funded me. Uh, Shane picked up the rest of the funding and he started my tattoo and it's, I looked in the mirror for the first time. That's amazing. It was. And I had to, I had to just hug him. Cause I, you know, it's hard to put into words the way it makes you feel when you have no rest. I feel like a woman again. He's changed my life. That's awesome. Yeah, he's changed.